Greetings and salutations and thank you for clicking on the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a bash script I have written called up. Up is a simple script that lets you do a full system update to your Debian or Ubuntu system from the terminal. It should work on any Debian based system or any Ubuntu based system which means that it will work with things like Linux Mint, or Elementary OS, KDE Neon, and so on. There was an earlier version of UP that was available in the Easy Linux Bash Scripts collection. I have since improved it and I decided to go ahead and share it with everyone because it makes for a really good example of how a script should be written and the layout of the script and the way it runs. And we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But also it's a really great script to have if you're going to be administering machines remotely through SSH or you may want to set up some sort of automatic function to do unattended updates on a regular basis using something like cron, anacron, or a system D timer. So the way this video is going to be laid out, first I'm going to show you how to get it, I'm going to show you where to put it, and then we'll talk a little bit about what makes it tick. So come to the Easy Linux Bash Script page, which is already here, and the link will be in the description to this video. Scroll down the page until you come to the section where it talks about up and there's a little bit of description here about what it does and how to make it work. And then down here you will see that we have a couple of links and one of those that you can uh, use to download from the GitHub page. You can also visit the GitHub page here. We're just going to download it. It's a very small file. It only takes a second or two to actually come in and this is what it looks like once you get it. And to start using it. It's really quite simple. Double click on that file and it should open in Archive Manager because it is a zip file. Double click on the the uh, directory that is in there and then you see three files License, Readme, and Up. And the one we're going to be interested in for this video is Up. You can read the Readme if you want to and look at the license as well. It is published under GPL 2.0. So where are you going to put it? Well, if you've watched my past videos and you're a follower of the channel, you know that you can create a bin folder in your home folder and you can put personal scripts in there that you can run from a terminal. So all you need to do to actually create one of these is just create a folder in here called bin and make sure it's lowercase and then you put the scripts that you want to use in there and restart the uh, desktop by logging out and logging in and it should be available when you open up a terminal. The system should detect that you have a bin folder and add it to your path statement. So that's the first way that you can use scripts like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in here. There's one already here but we'll replace it. The other place that you can put up is in user slash local slash bin so that is slash usr slash local slash bin which actually makes it available for every other person that uses the computer so if you have a system with more than one administrator and you'd like them to be able to use it that's where you would put it another advantage to putting it there is the fact that you can run it with sudo in front of it to give it super user privileges if you put a script in your local bin folder that's in your home folder uh, you can't prefix it with sudo because these are private scripts and they're just for your use so therefore when you run quote unquote as root it can't be found so keep that in mind when you're deciding what to do with the program so let's go ahead and put it through its paces and I will show you the options so the most basic use of this particular piece of software is just typing in up at a command line and then enter and what it will do is it's going to go out and check to see if there are any updates available and if they are it will install them automatically. The up script does a distribution upgrade on Debian and Ubuntu systems which means that any package that is available that can be updated will be updated. There is another mode that you can put the uh, apt package manager into where it will do just a simple upgrade and the upgrade does not do anything that affects the distribution. No kernels, no system files, just basically upgrades the packages that are already in place without messing with the system. 
most of the time when you do these sorts of upgrades from a command line you want to use dist upgrade so that's how it works here if you want to do an update for some reason or uh, rather just a, a straight upgrade and not do a distribution upgrade then you can do that from the command line using the the regular commands so that's the first use of it there's a couple of options to know about so the second option would be one that you would probably want to use every now and then and that is clean and what this does is it does the same thing as we had happened before but now it actually goes through your local cache of everything that you've downloaded and it sees if there are any packages in there that either cannot be installed or they're not in the main repository anymore so basically at that point they're useless they're just taking up space so it will remove them it also scans for and looks for any packages that have been installed that are no longer required by other programs on the system these are orphaned packages and libraries and things like that and so it will automatically remove those so this is really great with straight Ubuntu because Ubuntu lets you remove old kernels after a while and that will look to see if there's any of those available and it'll take them off the system for Linux Mint if you use this particular program it will not upgrade a kernel it will not remove a kernel Linux Mint that has to be done through the Linux Mint update manager they just add that little extra uh, bit of security there so just keep that in mind it will not upgrade a kernel from the command line now the next one that I want to show you is up and help which is pretty obvious it prints a little help page and it tells you what each one of the functions does that's it very simple little program that's all you need to know to make it work just type in up and you have updated your system and that's it and like I said this is a great program to have around if you're administering systems through SSH you have uh, droplets in the cloud that sort of thing you're using remote hosting whatever the deal is you can use this little program to just do quick upgrades to it so that's all there is about installing and using the programs really quite simple let's take a moment and talk a little bit about what makes it tick and this is the code that uh, is in the script and this is version 1.0 now I do not really plan to be doing a whole lot more to this there may be a few little fixes and bugs that uh, come up that I might want to uh, uh, you know, I could add something later, but right now it's pretty stable as it is. That's why I'm actually publishing and putting it up on Git. So uh, essentially, it just declares a bunch of functions and then it carries them out. So the first line in the script is uh, setting the environment. And what that command does is if there's ever an error anywhere in the script, like the apt cache doesn't update or something like that anytime an error is thrown the script basically just stops it's not going to work this lets you automate it and then you don't worry too much about garbage being thrown into the script so if for some reason there is an error it will just stop working and uh, won't continue so the first function that is declared is update and essentially it's just uh, we're going to update the cache right here and then we're going to do a dist upgrade and it, it doesn't prompt the user it just goes ahead and installs it so whatever's there gets installed and then we add the clean option which adds the auto remove and auto clean functions and then we have a little function here that it, we leave the script here so uh, all this is is just echoing this little box that tells you that it's complete and it exits that's all there is to it one more function here is the uh, here document which is the help page and that's it then we get down to execution and the first thing it does is it tells them who we are just uh, re, you know prints out on the screen what script you're using and then it looks for arguments so if you have an argument of clean then it runs the update function the clean function and then leaves if there is a uh, uh, you, you want to print the help screen uh, then what that does is look for that argument and then when it finds it it prints the help screen and uh, exits the program very simple and then finally uh, the last one uh, here is 
a, a check for an invalid argument. So if you type anything other than these two things right here, then the system will uh, basically tell you you've typed in something that's invalid, and it gives you a hint uh, to go look at the help page. That's all there is to it. And then it exits with an error. Exit 1 right there does that. And then finally at the bottom, uh, if none of these are, if there's no argument set at all, then it just runs the update part of function, and then it runs the leave function, prints that on the screen, and it's done. So that's what it is. Extremely simple. I almost didn't share it because it was so simple, but then I thought maybe I should go ahead and share this uh, because it is so, it's a really good layout for how to do a script. It's, it's so basic that uh, you could take this and you could uh, use the basic functions and how this works to do all kinds of other things as well. So have at it. Have fun with it. You can look at this script and then expand on it and do whatever you want, which is part of the fun of sharing stuff in the open source community is that let's see what somebody else comes up with. I'm sure that you could make a more, much more complicated script. But this works great for my purposes. I maintain several machines through SSH and I like to have this on there. And sometimes I just want to update things very quickly and not mess around with a graphical tool. Pop open a terminal, type in up, and it just takes care of it. And I don't even have to think twice about it. So there you go. Thank you for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Do check out Easy Linux on the web. Links are in the description. Check out Easy Linux on Facebook and check out freedompenguin.com for lots of really cool Linux articles and videos from lots of creators, including myself. So that is all in the description. Thank you for watching. We'll do it again soon.